Every day is great. I don't know if you can guess what the theme of today's video is going to be. Uh, if you saw the title, I'm guessing you can. Um, so omit that from your brain. You didn't see what I'm, I'm unboxing today. And just presume you don't know. And you see all this shit. Uh, what, what would you think? That I'm probably a psycho. Because, you know, I got the hat. Um, I got sweater. These games. This, this, these. This thing behind me that you probably couldn't see. And, uh, yeah. So, um, what we have here is an unopened box. So here we have the box. And it's not been opened. Um, what's inside? I'm so excited. It's so exciting. So, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tear it open. Ready? Are you ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> Try this way. Ready? All right, here we go. Here it is. A lenticular, that's the word, not holographic. It is lenticular. A lenticular screen front. And on the back it says, the Persona 5 soundtrack makes me feel dot 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 ellipsis, and it, it has some space to write. Really, guys? You think I'm going to write on this thing? I'm not going to defile this thing with writing. I need it in perfect condition. I, I would never write on this thing. That would be insane. That's what something an insane person would do. And it has a sticker here, the, the Deluxe Edition 6 LP Vinyl Soundtrack, Limited Edition of 1000. How very exciting. So I pair that with my CD. Alright, let's bust it open. I want to be very careful so I don't damage anything. Let's try and get the sticker off real quick. Check that out, bruh. Stickers, where they go? On the side of my uh, shelf. First off, thank you for purchasing this Persona 5 vinyl soundtrack. It's awesome that the, <clears throat> yeah, that the vinyl also comes with such a huge record jacket because you can listen to the album as well as display it anywhere you'd like. Definitely want to decorate my room with it. I hope you enjoy them. Shoji Meguro. And it's like the calling card from the game. Comes with a set of stickers. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. It's got a whole stack of shit. Oh my god. All right, you ready? Let's go through them. First up, we have this one. This has contained side A and B. It says, on the back, main composer, Shoji Meguro. Um, and then the Atlas sound team is part of the secondary. We got this... Uh, Nice black record here. There's the back. Here's the second one. A nice silver record. Silver? Gray? It's got their masks on it. And their uniforms. Once again, says main composer, Shoji Meguro. Has the titles of each record on the back.
Third one. Clear. Very clear. Let's see. This has one of my favorite tracks on it, Swear to My Bones. A clear blood red. I'm a fan of this one. That art is pretty dope. There's the back. I don't think I showed you the back of the last one. Let's do a side by side. My hair's in there. Let's get my hair out of there. Here are the deluxe edition discs coming up. Nice clear blue. Here's the back. And here's the last one. Also a clear blue. Things to note about the soundtrack. It was it's, the main composer was Shoji Maguro, who has also done a lot of games for Atlas, such as Mach and X, Mach and Chao, uh, Digital Devil Saga, uh, Persona 3 and 4. He's done a lot of games for them. Um, the actual soundtrack, which, you know what? Let's go ahead and unbox this, too. Comes with a nice uh, little cardboard around the outside. Got the disc. First disc. Disc 2 and Disc 3. And then on the inside of this, it's got art and lyrics. And it has commentary in Japanese, which unfortunately I don't read. Um, it came out January 17, 2017. Additional composers on the soundtrack were Toshiki Konishi, Sorry if I butcher these names. I'm not a native Japanese speaker, nor do I speak the language. Kenichi Su... Chia. Su Chia? At Sushi Kita Jo? Kita Jo? Uh, Ryota Koduka? And then the vocals were all done by... She goes by Lin, but... Full name is Lin Inaizumi. And one fact to state is all of the vocal bits in this soundtrack are in English, except one track, and that's the... Spoilers! Spoilers! If you don't want anything spoiled about the soundtrack, turn off the video or skip ahead 20 seconds. Uh, is the last track... And it's the final track, uh, Uhoshito Bokuroto, which is, they translate it to With the Stars in Us, and that's the only song that's in Japanese. And it, it's a great song. If you haven't heard it, you should listen to it. I mean, the whole soundtrack's good. Clearly, I have it twice, but... So those are the main people who worked on the soundtrack. Now, this soundtrack right here... The vinyl soundtrack was done by IM8 Bit and Atlas. And I guess Sega had a hand in it because Sega owns Atlas. And then this was only done by Atlas in Japan. I don't think we ever got one in America. Oh, it has some additional art on the back. Little bus, cat bus. So I have one last surprise. <laughs> Sorry. I, I had to get that pun in there, but behind this, or in, in here, has been hiding a 
I don't know why that was funny to me, but it I've been like thinking about it almost the entire video and how she's just been in there trapped. But she's there. Here she is. Here's a little Yukiko figure that I haven't opened. She's got swappable faces. That's going to do it for me right now. I'm going to go put this bad boy on my record player and listen to the entire thing because that's the kind of person I am. Um, I will put up the, the track listing for the record version first right now. And I will put up the track listing for the CD version in three, two, one, go. Did I do it? Go. Actually, I realize you can't come closer. I have to come closer to you. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the uh, Persona series. This also extends into the uh, Shimagami series. And, like, I just, I feel like I need to calm down a little bit. Tell me, tell me if I should. I have the Japanese Tensei 4. I just, I have a problem. I don't know what that problem is because I have a ton of awesome shit, but people would say I have a problem, I guess. <laughs> 